What is going on my YouTube family? It's your boy Hawk and I got some news, some big, big news for you guys about um, a patch that is uh, released for, going to be released on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. There's a long list of things I got to tell you guys and it does change the way that we play the game. So I'm going to go through a list. Um, this is a short gameplay on uh, the map Slums and just listen up guys and there's a lot of things you got to run through. So. Let's briefly go through this. I'm going to talk about the PS3 update first. And this is PS3 update 104, 1.04. And the new features and feature improvements we have. Added support to live stream. Uh, improved audio slash rumble responses when hitting enemies with gunfire. That, that's in terms of your controller. Um, improved overall communication of double XP when enabled. When double XP was enabled the first weekend that Black Ops was released, I wasn't even aware of it because it didn't seem to me that the points were making any much of a difference between what it usually was. So, that's a good thing that's been fixed. Ability to, le to view league teams for any player's car player card. Added the ability to view player card from solo leaderboards. Added a number of security system enhancements. Sorry, We knew that there were problems going down with um, that prestige thing where people would watch a video and become 10th prestige. And that's been, that's been looked at, so that's a good thing. And added hardcore kill confirmed playlist to the hardcore category. Now, I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. Black Ops 2 hasn't been the best game for me so far in terms of enjoyment and in terms of KD, in terms of you know, just how much I want to play the game. Um, the skill based matchmaking has really screwed me over, I'm not going to lie to you guys. And I've actually heard stories of commentators, what they do is they, they make a side account, they tank it, tank on it, which means they, they try to get the shittiest KD possible. And then they go out and try to get those 100 plus gameplays. And in terms of integrity on my channel, I only have 103 subs or so. I'm never going to do that kind of thing in order to gain subs. I'm going to stay true to myself. Uh, I'm not going to have the beastiest gameplays out there. But the quality content that I bring is going to compensate for me not getting 100 pluses every single time I upload a video. And you guys that actually <clears throat> follow my progress and what this channel is about. And it's not about lying to you guys or making up false pretenses of what my videos are about. I mean, there was a video, my last video with the um, season pass, I made a mistake saying that was it was actually for Modern Warfare 4 or whatever, and that, I realized I made a big mistake with that one, but other than that, I don't <coughs> I try to make sure the facts are straight before I make a video in regards to it. So getting back on to the, there's been a lot of patches in terms of guns, and a lot of people are not going to be too impressed with this. So... Let me just say, score streaks. The UAV has now been increased from 350 to 425, which equates to being around one extra kill or, you know, an extra dog tag or such. And that's a good thing because the UAV spam has been off the chain. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like every. It's, a UAV is in the air every three seconds when you play against a decent team. Uh, the lightning strike has added a 750 millisecond delay. So if. Think about it this way. If you guys hear their capping B and you try to drop it on the B flag, it's going to be almost a second delay from when you call it in to when it hits the ground. So it may not give them an instant kill, it may not save you the flag right away, so they added that in. Bouncing Bettys increased the grace period from trigger and activation by 20, 200 milliseconds. That's good. Sensor grenade increased the range by 1000 units. Frequency is now 800 milliseconds between pings. And amount of time that it lasts is now six seconds. So hopefully we we'll see some more sensor grenades in terms of people's tactics, and that should be a good idea. That's that's a good idea actually, because I don't really see, sorry, the sensor grenades being used very much. Uh, we got a concussion grenade is decreased movement penalty and turn speed penalty when hit. So when you got hit with the concussion grenade in Black Ops 2, it actually froze your character for an extended period of time. And you'd just be waiting for that guy to turn the corner and shoot you because he'd be a sitting duck because you wouldn't be able to move. So that's actually a good thing that gives you a competitive chance in returning fire in that gunfight. Now this is the worst, worst thing that you guys could be expecting from, uh, that I was expecting out of this patch. I wasn't, oh my gosh. Anyways, all increased, all the SMGs have increased hip fire recoil. All have increased max hip fire spread from 4.75 to five so I'm assuming that the spread is not as tight it's a it's a larger grouping now and all reduced bullet uh, bullet sorry reduced bullet penetration 
and the MSMC increased recoil slightly. Let's go, let's go. That's my my best SMG, so you got to run the foregrip on it now, pretty much. And the PDW 57 increased recoil slightly. So the two highest damage SMGs have increased recoil, so you might have to start running the grip on them in order to do well. You'll see how everything works out. Let's get on to the assault rifles very quickly, guys. And um, okay, so all. Reduced idle sway for more reliable long range aiming. That's a good thing. But you have to be able to identify the targets at long range before. And basically, they have now nerfed or increased the recoil of all the semi autic or burst rifles that have select fire on them. So the FAL, the SWAT, and the MTAR, well not the MTAR, the FAL, SWAT, and XM8 all have increased recoil with the uh, grip and selected fire, well, not grip, but select fire attachment. And when I usually run uh, select fire on the first, I usually reuse grip, select fire, and suppressor. So I'm still going to continue to use that setup and see how it works out. And the XM8 has also reduced lethal range of 3 hit kills from 250 to 50 inches. So that is... Uh, that was around five or six meters to down to like a meter or so. That's and it's not really a big thing because considering it says three hit kills, but the XM is actually I think it's believed it's a four ra uh, four round burst. So one of the bullets I don't know it'll probably have the effect have effect when you're using select fire. Sorry guys if I'm rushing to this really quickly. It's just I have uh, exams to study for right after this, so I'm just trying to get everything down pat. Let's move on to the sniper rifles. We have all have increased hip fire spread. All, all of them with the laser is an increased hip fire spread. And uh, XPR 50, they've increased the recoil slightly. The shotguns, the R87, R870, reduced one hit range by 45 inches. That's within a meter. The pistols, the B23R, reduced headshot multiplier from 1.4 to 1. And the cap 40 reduced headshot multiplier from 1.4 to 1. There are actually a whole host of other uh, things that I'm going to discuss in probably another patch video upcoming on this Monday. But I want to test a few things out before I release the rest of those details. If you guys aren't too sure about them, um, as well, Woody's Gamertag just released a video about it. And he goes into detail as the same things I'm talking about as well. And... Um, just there's a lot of changes I'm not too sure people are gonna really like it but another thing that I just want to highlight very quickly is that the little glitch that people had to use a black hat PDA and steal someone else's care package a teammates care package before the teammate could actually grab it that has been patched so there's no more of that bullshit going on and um, I'm looking forward to seeing how the guns actually react so for all my uh, college and university students that are watching this video and all you young guys Probably it's not affecting you right now, but you guys should be studying, getting ready for the Christmas break. And um, I want to wish you guys all good luck while everyone with the exams and everything going well. And as well, thank you guys again for watching my video. Thank you guys for supporting me. And I'll get back to doing videos about my normal topics next week. Take care, guys. Peace. This is it, Marine.